Dala! Um, so I wanted to answer a question from another viewer uh, and this question was about, you know what, am I doing something that's blocking my blessings, blocking my path? Uh, is there things, is there pointers or things that people are doing every day uh, that could be blocking their path? And I just took the time to have like, to jot down five things when I was reading that questions, that email, in that email and thought I will share that with the audience here. So I jot down five, five simple things that you can look at and say, am I doing those things? What, in which area of my life this is happening so I can just like get rid of it and, you know, unblock certain things. So the first thing is second guessing yourself. When you doubt about yourself, when you're insecure about yourself or where you are, um, I'm not talking about, you know, having to make two decisions and looking for confirmation for omen or your sign or, you know, um, asking for advice so that that's completely fine. I'm talking about when you're constantly second guessing yourself because you're insecure, because you have low self-esteem, you don't even know who you are. Um, I think that's when this um, second guessing becomes part of your character, becomes critical to your core and then prevents you from moving forward because you're going constantly looking for validation from other people, from acceptance from other people, when in, in fact you should be just learning and getting to know yourself so that you don't um, wiggle wow all over the place. And this kind of thing can uh, have impact on your work at work with your coworkers because you're indecisive, you may be taking too long on projects, you may be slowing down the team because you can't make a decision. It may impact in your relationships with uh, your friends and your loved ones because you may not know who you are, therefore you may be someone who just um, uh, suck up the energy in the, in the relationship. You, you don't provide, you only suck things up. And that may, that may f make people feel uncomfortable. That may be f make somebody feel that they are in a relationship alone when they're with you because they're always giving you, sucking up and you're not giving anything back because you don't decide, you don't know what to do. Where we go, oh, we can go wherever you want to go. Oh, what we can do, oh, we can do whatever you want. And then you, it ends up being a relationship that the person's having with their own self because you are not contributing anything because of your indecisiveness, of your second guessing all the time. So um, to, resol to resolve that, I will invite you to take time out for your own self. Take time to know yourself. Take time to establish what are your values, what are your standards, what are your goals, and set that into your own core. You don't need to be 100% sure and certain on everything, but you need to know who you are and what are your values and your standards. You need to have a strong core because that's the foundation of who you are and it has to be there. And sure, you may sometimes be challenged about those things and that's when you have to assert it or move it or modify them. So that was the first thing. The first thing was, you know, indecisiveness. Second, guessing yourself. The second thing is honoring your ancestors. Uh, when you fail to honor your ancestors, and I'm not talking about any rituals and, you know, having your ancestor altars and sending money and all that, no. I'm talking about in your day-to-day -day behavior. I'm talking about in your interaction, in your decision, or your decision, your thought, your actions uh, on honoring your ancestors, honoring the people who paved your way, the people who brought you here. So every time you step away from that line, know that um, it may create additional blockages on all levels, from your bloodline to your energy, to your spirituality, to everything, to your relationships, to your work, all those different things can be impacted. So that's why you have to be clear. It's not about how many rituals you're going to be doing. It's about the decisions that you're making every single day. Are you honoring them or not? And you will see that the cultures and the tradition who do honor their ancestors are striving much better than the do those who don't. The Caucasian people honor the Greek, Greek and Roman uh, ancestors a lot. This is what you see all the time. There's always movies coming out about Greece and Rome. All the time and Greek gods and goddesses and all the stuff. They're honoring them. In the day to day, they're fitting that into the, cons the, the subconscious of everyone. And they sometimes, you know, um, uh, align with that energy. You see that to the Native Americans, they are fi they are honoring their ancestors and that's the shield, you know. They, they, some, so much thing were thrown at, at them and they're still here. They're still here on the land of their ancestors and they're ready to fight and die for it. And, you know, you could look at, uh, you know, you can see Japan. Japan, J Japan, Japan lost the, the war and yet they are a superpower in terms of technology. 
And yet, despite all the technology, they continue to uh, to order the ancestor. Shinto is still there. They're still using it. The emperor is still is still um, having the spiritual role. They still have holding on to their tradition. So it's very important that you uh, don't necessarily rush and, 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 and get into whatever kind of a tradition you may find, but just that you have that deal of reflection with yourself and saying, how am I not, in which area I am not honoring the people who came before me? And how can I correct that? That's just a simple inquiry that you can start with yourself to you know, un unlock that blockage if you, uh, if you do have that one. The third thing is being lazy. Being lazy has never brought anybody anywhere, okay? <laughs> and um, and so being lazy is going to create so many blockages because, you know, it, it, I mean, I could, this is an area that we could, we could go on and on and on about, you know, the consequences of being lazy. You can be cheated just because you are too lazy to research things yourself. Uh, you can be made a fool, you can be exploited because you didn't read everything that was on the page. That thing that was a little bit smaller probably is insignificant, and that's why it's so small. Wrong. This is actually the most important thing on the page that's written smaller, so you won't pay attention to it. So, um, being lazy is going to cost you, it's going to hurt you, it may hurt even people who you love, it may have some, some, some devastating consequences for you. And this is why you always have to prioritize. When you have priorities, you know you have to put in the energy. You know, you understand that, you know, things are not just handed to you. Even when you inherit an empire, you still have to put in work to make sure you can maintain it. So there's no escaping that. It's just like you need to work to uh, work smart, but being lazy is not going to get you anywhere at all. Not even spiritually, and that's going to be a subject of another video of spiritual laziness um, and the trouble that you will face going that route. Um, but being lazy uh, definitely is going to create some blockages, some blockages of all levels, just because you don't want to take the time to understand certain things, to research anything for yourself, to, to um, sometimes interact and ask the questions that you really feel you should be asking because you're too lazy and you're not doing it. You're just waiting for somebody to provide the answers for you, uh, waiting for somebody to provide the information for you. Um, and that can be very costly, uh, all type of sense of level. There's nothing that's free. You will pay it one way or the other. Um, so I think um, uh, put in the time, just decide to put in the time, just decide to do your due diligence, just decide to take the time to make sure that you've done your best, because by doing your best, every time you do your best, you can be lazy. <laughs> if in every situation, no matter what the situation was, no matter what your decision, you did your best, then you have no regret, but don't be lazy. Uh, now number four is being ungrateful. Being ungrateful will cause you so much loss and so much more trouble. Being ungrateful to the people who support you 100%. There are people who are there that, that come to your, uh, your, your aid without even you asking. And you have to be grateful for those people. You have to tell them how much you appreciate them. You have to show them that as well. Um, because you will lose them if you stop. They will stop doing this thing for you if you don't appreciate it, if you take it for granted. Um, the same way. You know, being grateful for the family that you have, the people who support you, the people who love you around you, the people who need that acknowledgement, and the fact that you need to acknowledge that and their contribution into your life. Otherwise, you will start taking them for granted. Uh, and that's one way also to not only unblock certain things, but to bring more blessings to you when you honor and celebrate the people who support you. Uh, that's just a, a portal for more blessings, or like uh, uh, opening the door to receive even more and to be able to give even more. And the last one is stagna stagnating. When you're stagnating, when you think you've done it all, you made it. <laughs> um, I don't think there's ever uh, a stage or a place where you can say you've made it, you've done it all. Even, even when they talk about who it is, the, the Buddha, who got the answers and, and ascended, he ascended and yet his energy is still here, still helping people who are here. Um, so he's not completely gone. He's still with us because there's a lot of people who need that energy, who need to uh, find their own path and find their own ways. So I don't think there's ever a, a moment where you can just tell yourself, oh, you know, I have, I have the, my dream job, I have my dream house, I have my dream family, I have, you know, financially stable, this and that and that, so I don't need to do anything else. Um, you know, it may be time for you to look at is my family as a whole unit, my cousins, my uncles, are they doing also as fine as I am doing? Is my community doing as fine as it should be doing as well? Is, the, is humanity as a whole doing as fine or as great as it should be doing? 
and by gaining that perspective you see that there's still always some other levels where you can go and that's one aspect you can look at it another aspect you can say you know even spiritually you know once you master the seven main chakras that everybody's talking about now go into the 22 go even further after that start expanding don't limit yourself there are also sometimes re revisiting the things that you already know you go deeper into them and you discover a whole nother world so don't stagnate don't become parasitic don't um uh, welcome this uh, this um this uh, illusion that you made it <laughs> that you that there's no more work that needs to be done or there's, there's no more people to help because uh, we sure can use uh, a lot of uh, help around there and or it's not even sometimes about helping other people sometimes it's about you you may think you've you've made it but sometimes mating it took a lot of sacrifices maybe you had to give up some hobbies you had to give up things you were interested in or you have to give up crafting and doing things that you did love and enjoy you know and so once you have that settled routine maybe maybe time to explore that to bring that different energy into your life and uh, to bring it back or to introduce them to your children so they can expand on that so I think there's always something more that you can do uh, to keep go going and to keep growing because if you look at nature nature is changing all the time it's not stag stagnating the trees continue to grow they continue to age and gain wisdom they're not stagnating the wind keeps going it's blowing here it's going to be blowing somewhere else it's not stopping at some point or some place if you have running water the water is running all the time it's coming out of the mountains and it keeps going it's gonna get to the lower ground that it can get and then even after that it's gonna evaporate go back up and come back down so it's like an eternal circle an eternal gesture of movement and you should be moving too you should be embracing change and being comfortable with change and being comfortable with improving yourself every single day so here you have it five things that you may consider to see are you doing any of those five things and how you can simply modify them and, and realign yourself so you can uh, gain uh, some additional blessings thank you for being with me and i'll see you later bye bye